Hi folks, Jack Spirico here today with a quick little tabletop review uh, to go along with uh, the Amazon item of the day post on the Survival Podcast blog. Um, last week for the uh, the gun maintenance and uh, uh, gunsmithing kit project for 2017, uh, I recommended that you pick up a 2 ounce and a 4 ounce ball peen. And I recommended a set that you could get on Amazon that had a 2 ounce, a 4 ounce, and an 8 ounce ball peen. Primarily because it's actually difficult to find a good quality two ounce ball peen and it is the absolute most versatile um, Hammer you will ever use in gunsmithing more you know There's hammers with different tips and all that But with a good punch set a two ounce ball peen and a four ounce when you need a little more Authority you can get 90% of what you're ever going to do done if you're a hobbyist gunsmith I'm not talking about people that do this every day of their lives you know more than me if that's you. This is about the person that wants to be able to work on and maintain their personal firearms and do occasional projects, maybe a trigger job, maybe put together an AR up or something like that. That's what we're, you know, we're putting together with this kit. Okay, so today I have for you a Vaughn 12 ounce soft blow hammer. It is actually the Vaughn VF12 uh, or SF12, I'm sorry, soft face 12 is what it is. Um, there are a lot of hammers out there and a lot of guys like them that have tips to remove and you can put plastic, you can put rubber, you can put brass, etc. However, if you have a two ounce ball peen and a good punch set, which you should buy now, and if you don't, you should go get it. If you want to source them locally instead of on Amazon, that's fine. Uh, but if you have that and you have this, you'll use something else almost never. And when you do use something else, you're probably gonna be using a, a plastic shot filled dead blow to get something really heavy unstuck or uh, a plastic mallet or something like that. You'll probably find very few times that you need to go to brass. And if you do, instead of buying one of these things with little fumbly tips on them, you're probably better off buying yourself a dedicated brass hammer if you feel that you need it. I actually have one, I have a four ounce brass hammer. A four ounce brass hammer, a two ounce ball peen, a four ounce ball peen, this guy right here, uh, and a lead shot dead blow. I've never actually needed anything else. So the, the reason I like this hammer is the quality that it's made with. I bought this over 10 years ago, and again, I'm a hobbyist gunsmith. I'm not pulling this thing out every day and putting together uppers with it. But you can see it's it's got some you know markings on, on the uh, faces, but it's not worn at all. It's a heavy hickory handle. It's well put together. There's no movement or looseness in the head even after 10 years of use. And it does what I need to do. It's about $23, $24, something like that to get this hammer. I'm a big believer when it comes to tools like this. Buy once, cry once. You can buy a $12 hammer with little fumbly things on it that loosen up when you're working on them. And that's actually, that hammer, I'll link to it in my review. It's not a terrible hammer. Again, I have one because it was so affordable, I thought, why not get it? But my job when I bring this stuff to you is to bring you the stuff that I actually use the most. This and my two ounce ball peen, 90% of what I do with firearms when I need a hammer, it's one of these two. Pick one up, put it in your kit, It'll serve you well, and it'll probably be around long enough that, well, you'll probably hand this as part of a kit down to your kids someday. With that, this has been Jack Spirico with another Amazon Item of the Day review. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, or check out the website. There'll be links here on the end screen so you can do just that.